Okay, so we're in the King Ranch right now. We have the GPS punched in to go to Jacob's place, which is the GM man, the guy painting the dually. Well, painted the guy who painted the dually. What, look at what what shirt do you have on. Where can you buy that? Team dash LMP dot my Shopify dot com. What is that? That's Lucas. Lucas. Everybody puts Lucas in their truck, don't they? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, loud and proud crowd? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. We're actually headed down to Jacob, the GM man's place, to pick up the dually. It's a three-hour trip down there. Depending on how you drive, for us it's probably going to be like 3.30 because my dad's driving. <laughs> Nonetheless, we're going to go down there and pick up the dually. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I haven't seen the truck in person, obviously. I haven't seen it in close-up, but I trust that he did a good job because he's, he was pretty confident. He's like, he's like, I can do, I can do a good, I can do a good job. So let me do the truck. And I was like, okay, man, I'll, I'll bring it down, you know. So um, super excited, super cool guys, and uh, really excited to see how it turns out. How do you think the dually's going to turn out, dude? How, how much better do you think it's gonna be? I think it'll be a, like a show truck. Show truck? You think show truck? Oh, do you yeah. think just like at least a lot better than flaky paint everywhere? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think there's yeah. a good. I think there's a good chance it's gonna look better than flaky paint heifer hood. So, you excited to see the dually? I'm excited to see the dually. Yeah. And speaking of green handles only, we have a shirt that's like the number one bestseller. It's supposed to be a diesel thing. It says green handles only. Hashtag diesel life. You do that at BP. You're in a world of trouble. <laughs> it's a black handle for diesel and the green handles for E85. It's the dumbest thing ever. <laughs> it's only a BP. It's only a BP. But we also have a surprise for Jacob. Right there. What do you think about that? So he has a GoPro Hero 4, and I had a GoPro Hero 4 for a long time filming on him, and they're not a bad camera. Okay, I still I just bought another one, okay? They're not a bad camera. But this is definitely going to be an upgrade from that for like daily vlogging and stuff like that. He had kind of been mentioning to me that he was wanting a different camera, just kind of didn't know what to what to get, you know, because they're expensive. There's a lot of different ones, less expensive ones. There's really expensive ones. There's, you know, all different, you know, sensors and megapixels and different, all different stuff. So um, he's like, ah, I'd like to get a new camera. I'm not sure what I want to get though. So, you know, any ideas? And I was like, well, this is the one that I have. This is the one that I've, I looked at before. And trying to beat around the bush not to not to give away that I'm actually ironically like I bought him a camera this is a um, I mean this is a new camera with a tripod and everything and it's gonna be I looked up some reviews and stuff and it was like a good camera pretty good camera a lot a lot better than a GoPro here for so um, we're gonna get this to him and uh, can't wait to see the look on his face when he's got a new camera and he's not gonna be expecting it at all, so it's gonna be kinda cool. Okay, on the topic of these shirts, I make money, you make excuses, single taken, too busy building trucks, the green handles only shirts, all that stuff. Link in the description to pick up a t-shirt. And what else happens when you buy a t-shirt? Before July 2nd, what happens? You get an opportunity to win a 12 valve diesel pickup truck. You get an opportunity to win a free freaking truck, okay? This dually that we're going to pick up, it's gonna be up for grabs. And your second option of a truck is the black Big Stinky, which is also 12 out. Anyways, all that aside, link in the description. Every $20 you spend between now and July 2nd, which is in just hardly a week gets you entered to win a 12 valve anything past that you are missing out so don't forget to enter the giveaway link in description we're getting closer and the nerves are starting to kick in a little bit like the nervousness of seeing the truck just because like when I dropped it off it looked ugly I mean I'm talking heifer hood heifer cab it was like peely flaky paint clear coat like and he even said in his video one of his videos that he made he's like this is really bad he's like this is really bad he's like but we'll take care of it so I'm nervous I'm nervous but I, but I uh I have faith that it's gonna it, it's turned out pretty good so I'm excited we'll see you in a minute it was a process wish I had a little bit more time to get my hands on it and stuff but oh well the fenders I sent you pictures we got that situation all taken care of so sweet yeah, if you want to see it it's right back there show us picture. show us show right. us your work walk on back here so this is your truck yeah, this is mine here. Getting ready to have a full new bed put on it, cow hood, paint job, everything. So there she be. There she is. Now she's missing the bumper, people, but we have something at the house waiting for that. It was definitely a, a fun process to uh, paint stuff. I uh, had to inquire some uh, help from my auto body teacher with those fenders and different stuff like that. But it was fun. So. Look at it. You like it? First, first. Just look. What's your thoughts on it? 
Looks good. It looks, it looks way better than it did. Uh, so it, it's <laughs> way one better collar. than it did. One collar now. What, way better than it did. It was all heifer hood and yeah, everything. You know what I mean? You can get the fenders all clean. Yep. The exhaust tip isn't completely black. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. You brought it down here. That hole from I told him from tire and bumper were just black. Oh, it was. It, it, was it took really me probably bad. 30 minutes to scrub it to get it clean. Yeah, yeah. It, it was a that. fun experience. So, do you the frame is you can clean a frame right there. What the yep. heck? I didn't put the mud flaps back on. Oh, that's no problem. I figured you're going to yeah. get tires and stuff and all that anyway. So, yeah, it's cool because I'm probably going to put the mud tires on here this week and uh, they would they'd be rubbing get a little on there. Uh, extra on there. I figured uh, that was rusting out in there, so I just kind of scuffed it up and so inside's all clean and. Oh, that's way cleaner. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was like, I mean, it was it was really bad in here. I'd never cleaned it. <laughs> since I took I my it. shampooer to the carpet and stuff, and like one pass, it was just mud, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be fun. So, sweet, sweet. Okay, so he has no idea. Well, first I got his money, but I've also got a camera for him, as I showed you. So we're gonna grab that really quick and get his reaction. Hey, I got something for you. Oh no way, a new dude! New camera? No way! I no. Yep. I can't. <laughs> oh, dude! Because you gave me a good deal. You did it in. Half the time um, you would have liked, and I knew you want. I knew you. I could tell you wanted a different camera, so I was like, you know, I'm just gonna order my camera as a tip for gosh. doing it in a good amount of time, getting it done. Wow. What well, you thank think? you, sir. No thank problem, you. Man. Oh my gosh. You gonna film some more videos now? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I can get rid of the GoPro. Yeah. I. I you uh, know what's funny is, I ordered you. I didn't know. I didn't know you had a GoPro, so I ordered a GoPro, a Hero Four Silver. And I was like, okay, so. I'll just I'll just try to create conversation without like mm -hmm. you know tipping him off a little bit to where he'd know. I'm like, so what, so what kind of camera you have? And GoPro. I was like, oh, dang it. I had just bought you a GoPro. Oh and, But man. I wanted one too. But I was like, I'm not gonna order two at the same time. So I bought you a GoPro, and then you're like, I have a GoPro here for summer. I'm like, dang it. So I went and I got back on Amazon. I ordered that one. I'm like, this is gonna be a better camera. Anyways, you oh. know what I mean? Like it's. And I did a test video. Audio's good. Video's Perfect. really good. Like it's. It's sweet. It's oh, a sweet man. camera. Oh man, gosh, my face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> it's almost like you got a, got a new exhaust system on a truck kind of smiling. Oh yes, <laughs> I can officially make some good videos now. Right on, man. Uh, well, thank you so much for working on the truck and getting, getting it done in a short amount of time. Yeah. You really helped me out. Oh yeah. Appreciate you working on the truck, getting it done in a timely manner. Yeah. Enjoy the camera. Yeah, I'm thanks going again to, for uh, it, so. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna enjoy the truck being done and I hope everybody else appreciates it too. So everybody has a big thank you. Go to his channel and subscribe oh, to him. I'll leave it right here. Link in the description. Perfect. Just kill it over there, watch his content. He's got a, uh, I'm sure he's got a lot of stuff on the way. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right on man, see you around. Thanks. Man, just look at this dually. Oh my gosh. Guys, huge thank you to Jacob. Huge, huge thank you. As a huge thank you, everybody please, just shined up this truck too, give it a good old polish, give this one a good polish. Go subscribe to his channel, it's the GM man. He pulled through two weeks, he worked his tail end off. He's like, dude, he's like, I get up there two hours before work. I go and I was just sanding on that truck, sanding it, sanding it. He's like, I go to work, I come home from lunch, I go out, I work on it some. I go back, I get home, I work at five. I go, you know, quick take a quick break inside. Then I go out and I work on this till 9:30. Then I go inside. Then I eat dinner. Then I came back out and I worked on it till 1:30 in the morning. He's like, every single day, every day, no no breaks. Um, and so I have mad respect for him um, for you know the deal that he gave me on the work the time that it took him to do it and how dedicated he was to making sure it was done as fast as he could get it done, but at the same time, not just getting it done fast, but putting in extra hours to make sure that it was still done right. He did color match the mirrors for me too. No, he didn't cut any corners. When you flip them up, he did the inside too. He sanded and painted everything in between here. As you can see, he did this whole center strip. Cause I told him I just wanted to get that done. He painted the door handles, which look awesome. Oh, and he also did put a uh, like a bed liner strip just right here because these are notorious for getting like just totally just 
and scratched up and rock chipped. Like those were like shined bare, down to bare metal because they were uh, so wore down from boots sliding in and out of the truck. I mean, he even went the extra mile. I mean, he polished the wheels, he polished the bumper. He, uh, he cleaned up the frame, made it spit shine within the wheel wells and stuff, cleaned the airbags off, I mean, everything. He polished the exhaust tip. Again, just everything underneath, he cleaned everything. Painted. Got the cab. Of course, he got the top of the cab, didn't cut any corners there. I mean, it just looks good. It looks really, really good. He even took my liners out, he said. And this I accidentally did because I was driving home, didn't even realize this was freely hanging, and I didn't zip tie it up, and it ate up some of my inner fender there, but I zip tied it up out of the way to, for now. But um, he even took my liners out and painted them black again, cleaned them all up, painted them. I mean, he, he went the extra mile, you know what I mean, within the time that he had what he had to work with, he, he definitely did a really good job. Same with the grill. And look how clean that looks. Dang near see a reflection in the grill. It's, it's beautiful. So now guys, I've got a busy, and I'm talking busy week ahead of me. I gotta get this in the bumper, headlights, taillights, I mean all the cab lights, the clearance lights. I mean I got everything, gotta get on that. I got a light bar for the bumper. Some other stuff, I gotta get the, the tires on there, gotta get the wheel spacers on the rear end. Um, just a lot, just a lot of stuff's gotta get done to this truck in a short amount of time, but just look at the sun shining on that thing. Look at it up real close. Just look at that. One color, guys. One color. Man, does that look so good. Let's say this another time. Guys, we are doing a 12 valve Cummins giveaway if you're stopping in for the first time these trucks are both up for grabs so every $20 you spend on this website I'll leave right here or a link in description will get you another entry closer to winning either this truck or this truck now there's gonna be one winner and they get to pick which truck they want okay both have 206,000 miles on this one 205,000 miles on this one maybe 206 now that we had to drive it down there and back a um, couple hundred miles 200 miles but both have identical mileage, the only difference is this is a 5-speed NV4500 dually, of course, and that is an automatic with a performance shift kit in the transmission, and that one obviously isn't done quite as much under the hood. That one's a lot closer to stock. This one, however, is pushing not quite 450, but, but close. It's on the verge. It's got a upgraded turbo, 120 horse injectors, and governor springs, valve springs, delivery valves, I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Both are awesome, awesome vehicles and I wanted to get this one painted and all restored and stuff just so uh, it was an immaculate, immaculate shape for whoever ends up winning. They have a really tough choice between the two. The only difference is manual with a dually, automatic with a single rear end. Link in the description, get entered today. It ends in less than a week, just less than a week, okay? By time, it's this time next week, the giveaway is over, it's done. You can't get in, end of story. It's over, it's out of, out of the way. Um, so if you guys want an opportunity to win a truck like this, you better enter while you can. I am not allowed to tell you how many people are entered, okay? I cannot give you a number, cannot give you, give you a figure, I can't even give you a small range. It's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not okay for me to do something like that. But what I can tell you is, what I can tell you is, you can't look at my overall views in my videos, or you can't look at my subscriber number, or my followers on Instagram and think, oh my gosh, there's that many people entering, because I can't give you a number or a range, but it's substantial substantially less. It is substantially less. And I wish I could tell you just how far down it really is compared to what my subscribers, my followers are, but I can't give you that range. All I can say is there's a lot less people entering than you probably think. Jump in on this opportunity while you can because uh, you might not ever get another chance to enter for a truck with such a low subscriber count and with such a low entry number. And you may not ever have the opportunity again, okay? Who else has given away a truck at 60,000 subscribers? Uh, nobody. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Thank you so much for just the love and support and participating and stuff. It really helps out and it really helps move forward with what we have planned out next. A um, Lot of big stuff coming and I do plan to get on back on the daily video content as much as I can even this week. I'm gonna try to post as much as I can this week with the video stuff. I've just been so busy with other stuff and just other business related stuff. So it's been really, really hectic, but I'm um, doing the best that I can. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to him, enter the giveaway, leave a like on this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.
Peace.